What's going on guys? Kyle Wolf back with you with a midweek update. I know I didn't do a breakdown after St. Louis. I was at the old gray GNCC. Been really busy this week trying to get everything done from the GNCC. So I didn't, I know I haven't done a full breakdown on St. Louis obviously, but what a race. That was one of the best races of the year. Cooper Webb getting the job done. Chase Sexton was right there. And Jet with an uncharacteristic bad start, and he didn't really go anywhere. It took him a while to finally get moving, and he eventually got, what was it, fourth? No, he got, he got fifth, and that's why we have a tie ball game going into the final four races of the year, and who would have thought that was even possible with the way the mid part of the season was going? Jet went on a run. He was winning everything. He was winning everything by a lot, and after the last two races... We've got, or I'm sorry, it wasn't in St. Louis, it was Foxborough. Who would have thought after the last two races, we would have gone from, what was it, 23 points or 21 points, whatever the gap was, down to dead even with Jet and Cooper Webb. And Jet's on fire, and with four races left, it's time for the head games. And we all know Jet likes to play that. And I couldn't be more excited for the final four races. Whoever wins this title, they earn it, they deserve it, but this is going to be a uh, dogfight clear to the end, and Cooper Webb, I feel like, definitely wants redemption from Nashville last year. It wasn't Adam Cincerello's fault, we all remember that crash, I was there in person, you know, it was nothing Adam can do, and Cooper even recognized that once he saw everything, he's like, he's like hey, I'm, I messed up, and I put myself in, in that position, and Adam was there, so... I think uh, Cooper won some redemption for Nashville last year, and he knows that had that not happened, a lot of us feel like if had that not happened, he might be carrying that number one plate this year instead of Sexton. But regardless, it is what it is. Sexton's your champ, and he looked good in Foxborough. He looked really good. He was starting to look like the Chase Sexton of old that we've seen him on that Honda. And I think once we get into these last three, Four races and especially the final two if Sexton keeps up his momentum that he has going he's gonna really get in the fight and really screw up the points for somebody whether it's gonna be Cooper or Jet and I'm not gonna count out Eli out of taking points away from those two guys and I'm certainly not gonna count out Kenny from taking points away from those guys either this is gonna this is one of the better seasons and I really didn't think that was gonna be possible but we've had a great year this year and we got Nashville coming up this weekend and I couldn't be more excited for it with Nashville this weekend, it's the first East-West showdown of the year. I don't like the fact that we wait until the final four races to do two shootouts. I know, you know, in the past, it was, you know, the the one showdown at the finale in Vegas where there was no points on the line. Then they changed it to where there were points on the line for everybody. Back in the early and mid-90s when they started doing those East-West combinations races, they would do two or three in a year but they were spread out throughout the year. Now we've got two East-West showdown races in the final four, and I just, I feel like that's a bad time for the first one. I'm all right with doing the final one at Salt Lake. It is what it is there, but for there to be two races left or three races left for each series, and you know we're coming down to the wire, and then we throw in a showdown race, I just feel like that's kind of really putting a chance on throwing stuff up in the air. I know it's a race. I know everybody's on the same track, but it just leaves a lot of open possibilities for something to go wrong that is not, you know, is is against the norm. A West guy could screw up an East guy's race or vice versa. And I just, I don't like that. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. Just me personally, I, I look at it over the, over the years, over the, you know, the 25 years of uh, showdown races or almost 30 years of showdown races, combination races. And I just, you know, I, I don't like where it's at the end. If they would have done one in the first six rounds or first seven rounds, I would have been fine with that. You know, do do another one before Daytona, that would have been fine. I would have been all right with that. I just feel like doing two in the last four is a little bit much given the situation, given the circumstances, especially where we are in the points. But East Coast, you know, everybody's looking at Deegan. He got the win last week in Foxborough. He's looking to make up ground on McAdoo. And this is the perfect opportunity to do it. Get some West guys in between himself and Cameron going into those final two races. Uh, Philadelphia and then the finale at Salt Lake, which will be another combination race. It's going to be him versus Kitchen, I feel like, though. Levi's on a roll out West. You know, like I said in the, in the previous video after Seattle, 
Levi's on a roll. This is his title to lose. He doesn't have a phenomenal points lead. He doesn't have a large points gap. But he's got a significant enough where he can kind of maintain his gap. He can stay within, you know, stay within range of everybody behind him. You know, get a second, maybe a third if it, you know, if it comes down to it. But he's in, he's in the driver's seat for this championship. On the East Coast, it's a definitely a different story. It's a lot closer between McAdoo, Vial, and then Deegan starting to close, especially after that win last week in Foxborough. It's definitely going to be interesting. I don't know if we're going to see any clashing of the of the minds, I guess you could say, or you know, any any East versus West roughing up for a win. It's it's possible, I guess. I don't know why anybody would do it. Just race your race. You know, if if you need to pass a guy to pad points, all right, fine. You take a guy out on the opposite coast. Not only does that make you look bad, but then it's not going to help anything because everybody that you're trying to keep in between you is going to get around that guy if he's laying on the ground. So it's, you're actually going to hurt your case by putting somebody on the opposite coast on the ground. I don't think that's going to happen. I think uh, everybody's going to race it pretty straight up. We've got an you know, exciting series on our hands, and it's going to come down to the wire in Salt Lake for all three title, uh, all three championships. I have a feeling unless something goes really wrong before we get to Salt Lake, I don't see it happening though. Then again, we've had dumber stuff happen and we've had crazier stuff happen in the first round, the first two rounds, especially in that 250 East West. You know, we lost Forkner and that was at the second round of the series in, you know, Arlington and or else he'd be in the, he'd be in the mix for this title contention. He'd be in the conversation for this. So I think there's a lot that is going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be catastrophic to anybody's series, but it's definitely getting closer in both that East and West. And I think by the time we get to Salt Lake, all three of those title fights are going to come down to the wire. I don't think anything's going to get wrapped up early. If you haven't checked out the breakdown that I did from the old gray GNCC, check that out right here. Great day of racing. You know, Stu Baylor versus Jordan Ashburn at the end of it. And it was a great day of racing, but you can check out the breakdown. I do, if you haven't seen them before, I do all three races in a Moto World style format, the youth, the 10 a.m. race with the WXC, and then the afternoon race with the XC1 Pros. That's going to wrap it up for me. This is a very short one. If you would, go like the video, subscribe. I'm getting so close to 1,000. It would really help me out, and I appreciate you guys all watching these. Nashville is this weekend. I will be there. If you see me walking around the pits, say hi. I know a lot of you guys there. We're going to have some fun this weekend in Nashville, and I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Go like, subscribe, comment, share, do what you guys do, and I'll see you in the next video.